we're going to move on to our universe. Ooh, a lot uh, of crazy. Yeah, our universe. universe. A lot of crazy stuff is going on. Oh, girl. When is it crazy, not? Crazy. It, it's, just, right. it, it's been going on. We just, we just now have like the now ability to figure it. Now we're just paying attention yeah. to it. Now yeah. we're just paying attention to it. Okay, are we good? Yes. Okay. I think. We're good. We're going to be talking <laughs> about... <laughs> okay, have you heard about uh, the CEO of Tesla, uh, Elon Musk? Yes. He is pretty interesting, right? Yeah. He's like the world's most famous futurist, they're saying, to date right now. He has a lot of crazy stuff going on. Yeah. Many far-fetched projects. Um... People are saying things um, like science fiction, and you know, like what they all—they're attaching these kinds of ideas with with Elon Musk. He's and of smart. course, he's pretty smart. Mm-hmm. Of, well, yeah, he's he's pretty smart. I mean, he has a lot going on. Mm-hmm. He has um, just to name a few of his things. He has SpaceX, which aims oh, to yeah. colonize Mars. They're attempting yeah, to crazy. colonize that's Mars. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, he has something called the Boring Company, and they actually want to dig tunnels to transport cars to high speeds um, <laughs> along sliding electric. Uh, skates. That's not boring. <laughs> not boring at all. Like, that's no. pretty cool. And then he has another company called Hyperloop. It's actually planning yeah. to rocket um, commuters from San Francisco, San, San Fran, I'm sorry, to Los Angeles in pods traveling at like supersonic speeds. No way. So he has like crazy <sighs> ideas in the works. And there's another one that that's we want to talk crazy. about today. Maybe you guys have heard about it because it's been like all over the headlines. His new venture, it's called Neuralink. It's wild and it's interesting. Listen, it's, it's actually, it's, they have a stated mission to develop an ultra-high bandwidth brain-computer interface that will actually be merging man and machine. No, thanks. <laughs> no, I mean, I think it's she cool. No I think thanks. it's cool. I think it's cool. But, um, yeah, wow, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh my happening. Goodness. They started yeah. about a year ago. Um, they're a startup company. They're starting out as a medical research company, though. Okay. They're, ki- they're, they're trying to, and like I said, they made headlines recently. And it's, the reason why they made headlines is because they're saying that the uh, company actually collected $27 million in funding, according to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. But Elon Musk uh, actually denied that via Twitter. He said that it's all coming from his own pocket. But we're, we don't know much about what's going on with this thing because he's oh, keeping a really tight like lock on I it. Bet. No one knows what's going on with it. But you know, um, when it comes to this company and what and what they're doing, the, the Neuralink thing. I mean, he, this is the same person that's that's warning everybody about um, artificial intelligence mm-hmm. and the dangers of artificial intelligence. And he's the same one that's like attempting. To merge humans with artificial intelligence. Isn't that a little crazy? It is. It sounds a little weird. But because I think they're focusing on the medical aspects, I want to read a statement, actually. He says, over time, I think we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. He told the audience member at World Government Conference in Dubai, and he's proposing that a high bandwidth digital interface can be interlaced with the brain to transmit data at the speed of thought. Look at him. She's Wait a really, minute. I'd be scared too. I'm a little yes, scared. I'm totally trying to think. I'm a little scared. I mean, they're gonna like be putting, they're gonna connect things to our brains essentially, and his idea is that it's supposed to like, it's supposed to help us with our creativity, <laughs> and it's gonna boost things. Wow. He's saying that it's really so, supposed to help. Um, a direct link into someone's thoughts, and I don't know. To him, it all looks positive. I mean, I can see it being positive thoughts? if if it's, well, hold on a second. I don't know if, it, did it talk about, I'm not sure if it mentioned it or not. Like, is it something that, are we willing, are we going to be like, do we have to like turn it on and off? I mean, or is it just going to like zap? Like I said, oh there's not much information on it. We just have like very little, and we just know that it's kind of in the works. We know wow. that they're, they're working on it and they're doing it to try to help. They're actually, like I said, medical research. The reason why they're, they're putting this into motion is to help people Kind of regain um, muscle strength and like different kinds of okay. stuff. Like if you like if you maybe were paralyzed, maybe we can find yeah, a totally, way yes. to you know <laughs> communicate with your brain another way to get you to move again. You know, like they're working out different kinks in that arena. Okay, but of course things can expand on a yeah. more global level. Like you know, computers and cell phones they were originally Hi, what, for military. Yeah. Now we we all have them. We and all use them. Hack, any, anything that has to do with computers, hackers, anything. You know, and that was that's what he was saying with you know artificial intelligence and that we need to be aware of it it's Mm -hmm. a really scary thing because they can eventually wipe out our human race yeah and now that i understand what he was actually saying is that he thinks that human beings should be working towards a higher intelligence ourselves 
So I think yes. that he thinks that by merging us with this, mm. with machines, we'd be able to combat artificial intelligence. I can see that. <laughs> okay, now, now, now you, that, you made some good points. No, that, 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 I think that, that's what he's yeah. saying. And that's, that's what I'm I gathering totally from it. I can see that. But yeah, the, the whole um, regenerating or the, the yeah. your brain. I actually saw this show or this movie, a documentary, about how these people, their particular parts of the body were damaged. Like they're, they couldn't walk or they're blind or something like that. And these <clears throat> neurologists created these machines or these devices that actually were either implanted somewhere mm. in their brain or like connected to their tongue or their, their back. And basically wow. what they had done, and, and if I get this wrong, I'm sorry, but um, <laughs> was they basically attached this device to their skin somewhere and rerouted the nerve function to their brain. So let me back up a little bit. Yeah, let's say please, you, please. Let's say you're blind. Okay. And you've never, you've maybe had a little bit of sight when you were young, but you're pretty much blind right now. And um, the, the, there's connections, wh- wh- I'm sorry, where the, where the eye is damaged, mm-hmm. where he can't see, you can't fix. However, okay. there's like some wiring back in your head. Like the nerves that yes. goes through, okay. So basically what they do is they train your brain to find another way to go to the part of your brain to decipher what you see. Does that make sense? Wow. Yeah, so you, they're not even using your eyeballs. So here's an, here's an example. The guy made this like sticky device and put it on this guy's back. And he said, <clears throat> I think he was wearing glasses and he had him walk. And he's like, okay, tell me what you see. And he could see like the shapes and the shadows. And he was like, how, do, how are you seeing these things with this device attached to your back and these like funky glasses on? He's like, basically it's like, you remember in school when people would write on your back or someone would write, yeah. you're able to visualize what they're, saying or what they're writing on your mm-hmm, back. Mm-hmm. So basically they are taking, they're not using the damaged eye or whatever it is, they're actually rewiring the connection oh my to gosh. decipher what it is that you see of your vision. That is amazing. So it's like, it's, so it's are they using like other senses? Yes. They're using other senses they're using, and other information. Yes. Wow, yes. that is really cool. Yes. I want to look further into yeah. that. I've definitely So do. I can totally see the health aspects of yeah, it completely. Yeah, I can see it like going, if it goes mm-hmm. in the right direction and that's why it's like, I think we would think that this is okay because Elon Musk is like really, really yes. strongly like AI is bad. Mm-hmm. Like he's like, we want to be the good guys and there are, AI, you know, there are bad guys. And so like there are, he has opinions. I know. And yes. I know that he sees it. He's not like denying that right. AI can't be bad. So I mean, that's because something he wants that to do I, good stuff with right. Him. That's something that I'm, I'm aware of. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, taking heed to that. And so I want to think that anything that he's going to do is going to be positive. Yes. Just because he probably is on the right track. Yes. Thinking positively. Exactly. But who knows? I mean, things can go in many different directions. And somebody's, you know, I don't think he necessarily is trying to, but, but there are other people that could exactly maybe try to. All it takes is just well, the wrong person to get their hands yes. on this technology. And then. That is just crazy, though. And you know what? I'm sorry. Just to talk about that whole, you know, we need to elevate ourselves. We need to be yes. like the AI. So the, oh my gosh, girl, I'm telling you, I'm like. Absolutely. I'm like, there really was. There, do you insane. remember though? I think it was like in the 90s that they started, I think, or like late 80s, early 90s, that there was a commercial. It was a, it was a really crazy commercial. It's like just a woman, she's like walking through, or it might've been a man, I don't know. He's walking through um, like a grocery store, picking up items and everything. And then he goes to like um, the the register and he just like swipes his arm against something. And it kind of like, it was, a, it was like a, it was a commercial that basically was like trying to promote chips, putting chips in us mm-hmm. and how you can have a credit card in your wrist. There's a company that's doing that now to them. Yes. Oh my now God. Now they're doing it now, but I'm saying yeah, that was a you. commercial like from the 90s. Oh yeah, we're that like 40 years like, behind. Whoa. We're like 40 years behind. Yeah, it was It was really, oh, well yeah, of course we are. Of course Scary, we are. But it's cool, but it's freaky. It's really, you know it's really mean? freaky. We're very, very, very far behind now. We're even like, yeah. long, probably even further behind than that, but that's like another subject okay. <laughs> entirely. Yeah. And we want to know what your thoughts Please. are. Please, uh, is artificial intelligence something that we should be strongly, like seriously, like scared about? Or not, <laughs> or not. Or should oh we just, God. you know, like the Matrix, download Kung Fu, we should just all Positive. appreciate it and, ben- you know, its benefits and just become smarter and who knows? Who knows? Let us know. You let us know. Let us know.